guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm doing another minecraft video today i've been working on this fairy core farm and it's finally pretty much finished i used a lot of builds from a lot of different creators which will be linked in my description box so if you want to build anything that i built most of them have links to where you can find out how to build them or you can also copy me that's fine <laughs> and also a disclaimer i built all of this in creative pretty much and i'm just playing survival on it so that's the story behind this farm let's get started oh and this is my cat tiger okay bye tiger okay i changed to first person mode just to make it easier to show you guys kind of so you can get the full effect so this is i think the only connecting bridge between my island and another land area very inviting and cute and there's a lot of lanterns all around and water it's just it's an island slash fairy core farm and i love the vibes so first we have this little sitting area i thought this was just a cute place to put a bench you know not functional but whatever and you can kind of see where i grow crops we'll go over that later and then we have this gazebo so this is just a nice area especially at night it's just a nice area where you can kind of like see everything it's just super pretty so that's the gazebo area and then this way i haven't really paved anything because no one's supposed to go that way so we'll take the path and i'll show you around my fairy core farm okay so this is our first building and this is the cow barn which i think is super cute and fashionable um i don't have very many cows in here right now because i just i just killed most of them <laughs> you know i've been playing survival on this world so it's a harsh world okay all right so this is the place where they come to drink water there's hay in here lanterns there's little stalls that they never go in because cows in minecraft are psychotic then we have little barrels full of wheat i need to grow more wheat and milk for cooking and some food troughs and yeah it's nice and cozy shelter if it's raining but they mostly like to roam around in the pasture. I'll kind of show you guys around the side of the barn so that you can see just kind of like what it looks like, but I'm linking the person who I followed their tutorial in the description so you can go look at their tutorial. All right, this is the sheep barn and this houses sheep inside and then there's chickens and rabbits on the other sides and there's a loose sheep i don't know how they got out but and some of them are naked it's fine i just um sheared my sheep i think last time i was on here the hay is for the sheep and the potatoes carrots and beets are for the pigs and then the carrots are for the rabbits on the other side of the hutch oh yay it's raining outside <laughs> so if we come in they have a little area um for them to eat and drink and some hay that they enjoy climbing obviously and yeah it's just like a really cozy build I'm really happy with it. Okay, I changed the weather so that it's not raining for our tour. You're welcome. And then we're gonna kind of come up to the side of the sheep barn. And this is where I keep my pigs. And I had to make it a little bit ugly and break this so I could get into the pig pen without them escaping. This is where they have water and food. It's getting a little full in here. Eventually, I probably wanna build like separate buildings for pigs and like a rabbit hutch, but maybe like in this area. But right now, this is where they're staying. And then I have rabbits. And in here and their feet is on the floor so that they can reach it and i thought this barn is like so cute like i'm obsessed with it the person who designed this did a really nice job with it okay leaving the rabbit hutch we enter this little archway which leads us into one of my areas where i have my crops so right now i'm growing watermelon in this one and beets here oh it's so pretty because i just planted them and they're finally growing in pumpkins and watermelon and beets i guess i planted a lot of beets <laughs> and i just have like barrels around here's where i grow like all the crops that aren't wheat because you definitely use wheat the most i have a whole wheat field that's dedicated over there but this is where all the seeds go that aren't wheat seeds so like melons beetroot pumpkin and beetroot is what i have right now and then hoes and then i'll show you my little bee farm over here okay so i have these three hives and i have a little fire set underneath each of them so i keep lint and steel and empty glass bottles and a shovel so i can put out the fire and that's how i collect 
tiny. Then over here I have my outdoor shed. A lot of the storage space I built in I haven't used yet. Like I don't have anything in any of these, but it's just storage space for future because in survival you tend to need a lot of storage space. And so that's this little shed. And then this little well because you need a well for water for your crops. This is a cute little fairy well. Well, it's not very little. It's kind of big. <laughs> so that's kind of the farm area. And then let's go straight through where these crops are and this is my farmhouse. So it has this little cute porch area and I can see all my crops. And if you go inside, yeah, there's like a clock. Um, this is where I keep some items and I keep all my food and stuff in here in these cupboards. So like me and all of my crops and eggs and things like that and sugar that I make from honey. I have a ton of furnaces in here, a bed. This is my cat Tabitha <laughs> and more storage space. And then these are like all of the materials that I use the most for crafting in my house. I have this anvil and stuff like that for fixing up my tools and just like these cute little lanterns turns area for reading and i got a jukebox too i just crafted that when i went mining the other day cool so that's my farmhouse oh and i didn't even talk about this huge archway i thought it matched the fairy core theme and just tied some loose ends together i'll show you so like this is what the back of the house looks like in the side this is my storage area i haven't used it yet but this is like storage overflow and it has room for like a ton of materials so i'm excited when i get a chance to use this and there's like little picture frames so that i know what's in each chest because that's like my pet peeve we also have a gazebo right here and this one has a really good view of the sunset in this game like it's so pretty yeah i'm obsessed with it okay let's go down these stairs to one of my docks and they're just animals roaming around it's fine okay so this is the dock um on this side of the island and it has four boats and then this walkway i made myself i'm like really proud of it it actually works and it's so cute <laughs> especially at night. This is like my weaponry area. Like this is like the fort of my Minecraft world. And I built it like this little hobbit house, which is kind of fun because it's like under the grass. But inside, this is like where all of my weapons and armor is located. And like I have everything that you need to hide out in here. <laughs> just in case I have like creepers or monsters or pillagers around my house. And yeah, I have a map of my whole island, which is kind of cool. So this is what it looks like from above. And I have more stuff to make more maps, paper, and tags to name my animals, which I will have to do later. Then there's like my bed area, which is kind of cute. And I love this texture pack. I used Mizuno Craft, which is one of my favorite texture packs. I use it for like every world I create. Okay, down in here, this trap door, we'll go down here. Lapis Lazuli or whatever in this chest because this is where I enchant my different weapons and armor and stuff so it was the only space I could find. I've had this happen so many times where pillagers come up to my windows in my house and I can't leave because I am a wimp and I can't even. So I built this like underground <laughs> passageway that I kid you not it goes up into my house so if I'm ever in that situation again <laughs> I can escape and like sometimes I'm like oh I don't have my armor in my house or I'm not wearing armor because I mean I don't really wear armor a lot in my farm because I'm farming then i can come quickly get like what i need to fight them and i'll take you guys through the rest of my island all right so i built like these waterfalls on the side of my island and i just thought it looked really nice just like the sides of my island it's just so pretty okay so if we keep going this will take us to where the donkey stable is and it's just like this cute little it's good they've got like a little shelter and then there's places for lead ropes and saddles and then if we go inside i'm gonna go this way so they don't escape so if we go inside, they just have little stalls and hay and water and things like that. And we can kind of see into like my fairy pond that I built. I'll show you this building. This is like my little cottage. I have houses, like little buildings all over my house. This is like an enchanted log tree. Okay, so there's like a place to sleep. It's very simple and craft and cook. And it's just so pretty. So I stay here sometimes when I'm like kind of too far from my house on my island at night and I need like shelter. And then this is like the fairy pond I built and I found some axolotls in my world and so I put some in here and I breed them. And this is the horse barn right by the donkeys, which is perfect. So this is kind of what the build looks like. And when we go inside, um, so we have like all my horses in here that I've caught, saddles and lead ropes. Um, there was another horse in here, but I think it's out in the pasture and then this horse too. And then in here is like a really small storage area for like hay and wheat and then golden apples for breeding my horses. And then this is the pasture. 
They have like a little shelter over here with water and hay. I mean, they're not real, but they love it. Clearly they love it. I added the pasture. This was a build that I copied and then I, I changed it up a little bit. So you can kind of see the stable, the pasture on both sides. Okay, now we have this magical tree that I just randomly planted here because I needed something to keep away monsters that had lighting in the corner of this area. I love it. This is probably one of the areas of my island I'm most proud of, which is the waterfalls. The waterfall details took forever to build, but it's so worth it. I just extend my fairy pond and it connects to the ocean, but I have axolotls in here. And then there's like this bridge and the ocean goes out here, but I like built underneath it so they can't escape. You know what I mean? Cause that would be sad if I lost axolotls to the ocean. All right. And then we'll kind of go up here so you guys can see this area. So here's like the pond before the waterfalls. And then there's like a little dock there. I can go fishing there sometimes and it's super cute. So this little house is my cat house. And I know you might be wondering like, why do you have a cat house? I don't always want my cats in my house. So I built them their own house. I have this cat here and then they just have like little play areas to hang out. And one of my cats is in my house cause I took it so creepers didn't attack me, but it was a really cute build and I was trying to figure out what I could use it for. And I was like, oh, I'll just have my cats live there. And it's like what the sides look like. And then this also, this waterfall goes down into this pond and it has some tropical fish in there. Then I have my dog house over here. You didn't think I just had a cat house. No, I have a dog house and it's kind of fun because it's like part of the grass. Okay, so inside we have a lot of dogs. I take them with me when I'm scared as I'm a wimp in this game. Okay, and they have a little bed and food and bones and a little pool. It's fun. I've seen them play in it before. Next, I'll show you guys my greenhouse. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Like not functional for a survival area, but it's just pretty. So it has like all these flowers and like, I just come here when I want to experience nature. And you know what I mean? Just like light and open, lots of windows. And like, it looks pretty from the outside as well. Next is my boathouse. So this is a dock. This is like the main dock, but I needed one on my other side of my island. And there's a chicken stuck in my boat. It's fine. So I have boats and um, areas to grill up fish that I catch. This is mostly where I go fishing. Then I have this boathouse connected to it. It has like a bunch of storage and a bed. It's pretty simple, but it's like really cute and nice and convenient when I get back from like some sort of trip. If I get back in my boat and it's like getting dark, I have somewhere to sleep. All right. So here is my chicken coop. Oh, I guess I left the door open. Usually run around to collect my eggs and I just like throw them because I don't, I don't like feeding my seeds to my chickens to breed them. I'd rather just throw eggs to spawn new chickens. And I have this like chicken egg collector thing and I'll collect eggs from there too. And last but not least, this is where I grow my wheat. So this build took a long time, but it's so pretty. It's like a feature of my island. So there's like water underneath and that's how they grow. And I like that it's like fenced and gated because no animals can get in any of my crops. And like if I'm in here and it gets dark, I'm like protected from most creatures. So it's kind of nice. This is where I keep all of the, the plant decorations and flowers and stuff for like in case I want to decorate. And this is where I keep all of my seeds. I actually do have one more thing of my island to show you guys. So this is my board. So I just kept track of like all of like the villages I found in this world and all the caves I found. Mine shafts, ruined portals, shipwrecks, um, lush caves, pillager outposts. So, okay guys. So this has been the tour of my fairy core Minecraft farm. Let me know if you guys want to see more like let's play videos. Like we can play survival on this world. Thanks for watching, bye. I'm on the nice, you never guess. I've been hiding a monster, keeping it quiet.